What is up guys? Today we will be going over 5 of the best spots in old school runescape to use a cannon and also make profit. Now I have already made one of these videos with 5 other spots so if you want to see 5 additional spots click the link in the description after this video is over to see those. The benefits of using a cannon is you can get additional range xp while training and you can also kill monsters at a faster rate. If you can do this and make profit why not do it? The spots I will be showing you could either use range or melee at but some spots it is better to use range so you can cannon and hit multiple monsters at once. If you have a spot in game that makes money with a cannon, make sure to leave a comment so we all know. And if you enjoy this video, leave a like and consider subscribing if you have not already. The five spots I will show you now are in no particular order. The first spot we will go over is the Green Dragons in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. Now there are no requirements for this spot, but since it is in the wilderness, I would suggest only bringing gear you are willing to lose and expect to be PK'd every once in a while. If you're on a wilderness slayer task, you do get an additional 15% increased drop rate of the Laren's Key, which do give an average of around 150k GP. The gear I'm using is super basic and all things that I'm willing to lose. I'm using a Guthix Coif, an Amulet of Glory to immediately teleport out if needed and just to bank, Broad Bolts, a Rune Crossbow, Black Dehyde Body Chaps and Fan Braces, an anti-fire dragon shield, snakeskin boots, and an Ava's accumulator. In the inventory I have cannonballs and a cannon, a prayer potion in case I do get PK'd, a stamina potion to run away, a looting bag which I would deem essential to get the most money per hour, some manta rays and karambwans, and ceridome and bruise for combo eating if I get PK'd, and a burning amulet to quickly get to the slayer cave. Now I will show you how to get there. First, use your burning amulet and teleport to the chaos temple, then run northeast towards the entrance of the wilderness slayer cave and enter it then run north and then down the eastern tunnel and you will get to the green dragons that you will be cannoning. Set up your cannon in approximately the middle of the three dragons and then load up your cannonballs. I would suggest running a little north so you can safe spot them and that way your cannon can hit all three while you are killing one. This also allows you to keep your hand on the teleport of your glory or to log out if a PKer comes. While killing them, it is as simple as looting their valuable drops. The loot that the green dragons drop are dragon bones and green dragon hide, which are where the majority of your profit will come from. And if you have completed the wilderness diary, then the bones will be noted, which potentially can make you more money per hour. The dragons also drop weapon and armor drops, which only a few items are worth picking up. They drop runes, herbs, and coins as well, and they also drop random items and the gem drop table. By killing these green dragons with a cannon, you can expect 500k plus GP an hour here if you are efficient and do not get PK'd a ton. The next spot on the list is the Lizardman Shamans. Now I have not actually killed a lot of these because I did not have the 100% Seijian favor requirement done yet, but I did do it for this video and it took around 2 hours maybe, so that is the requirement for this spot. I do plan to camp these in the near future as well and make a video about it. The only requirement is the 100% Seijian favor, so I would suggest watching a guide on that if you're not sure how to do that, because this spot could potentially get you a 27 million GP drop. The gear I'm using is full Seijian armor 5 to fully negate the green acidic attack from the shamans, and if you have completed the Karend and Diary, you can get the ability to wear the Slayer Helmet here as the Shazian Helmet if you are interested in that for a task. I am also using the Necklace of Anguish, an Unholy Blessing, the Ava's Assembler, an Archer's Ring Imbued, and the Toxic Blowpipe with Adamant Darts. In the inventory I have Cannonballs, the Cannon, an Antidote Potion, two Stamina Potions because you will have to run around quite a bit, a Draymond Staff to use the Fairy Ring to get there easily, but you could instead use the Xerix Talisman, it just takes a bit longer to get there. I also have two Divine Ranging Potions, eight prayer potions, 7 sharks, a rune pouch with runes for teleporting to my house, and also fire runes combined with my nature runes to allow me to use alk there as well to preserve inventory space. Now I will show you how to get there. You need to use a fairy ring, so I use the one in my house. You could use the one in Edgeville or anywhere else if needed. Use the code DJR and then you are near the Shazian encampment. Once there, run north and make sure your quick prayers are set up to protect from range and rigor and continue north down the stairs. There is a soldier here that you can talk to to see how many lizard men and shaman kills you have, so that is quite nice. Once ready, run into the area and put the cannon in this spot. Now the lizard shaman do an attack where they jump and land, and you have to move out of the way or you will take major damage. There are other things to note here, but this is not a guide, so in general, hug the wall and avoid the minions and jumping shamans, keep your cannon loaded, and run around, and that is basically all there is to it. The loot the lizardman shaman drop are weapon and armor drops that you can alk while there, 
They also drop runes and materials, as well as herbs and seeds. And they do have other miscellaneous drops like the Hard Clue Scroll, Long Bone, Elite Clue Scroll, and the Curved Bone. The drop that you are looking for by far though is the Dragon Warhammer, which is worth over 27 mil GP. You could get Lucky RNG and get it quickly, or you may have to camp them out for a while. It all just depends on luck. With all of these drops in mind, the average Shaman kill is worth 11.6k GP, and excluding the Dragon Warhammer, the average drop is 6.1k GP. When killing these for an hour, you can make anywhere between 400k to 1 mil plus GP an hour, with the lower end being without the Dragon Warhammer drop. The third spot is the Blue Dragons in the Myths Guild. Now this one does have a pretty steep requirement, which is the completion of Dragon Slayer 2, so if you have not done that quest, well first of all I suggest doing it, but maybe skip to the fourth spot to see a couple more spots. I was actually really surprised and excited to see you could use the cannon here, and there is actually a safe spot to range at, so it is a fantastic cannoning spot for profit. The gear I'm using is a Guthix Coif, the Necklace of Anguish, the Ava's Assembler, Broadbolt, a Rune Crossbow, which you could upgrade of course to something stronger, Black Dehyde Body and Chaps, Barrow's Gloves, Snakeskin Boots, an Archer's Ring imbued, and an Anti-Fire Shield which could be replaced with a Range Bonus Shield since we will be safe spotting. In the inventory I have Cannonballs, a Cannon, the Mythic Cape to teleport there, a Divine Ranging Potion, and two Lobsters just in case I take a little damage. Now I will show you how to get there. This one is probably the most simple, just use your Mythic Cape Teleport and enter the Mythic Statue. After that just run to the southeast area of the dungeon and you will find some blue dragons. Set up your cannon in this spot and then run to the safe spot area that you can range from in order to allow your cannon to attack all of the blue dragons at once. This is as simple as the green dragons, but no worries from PKers. The loot from the blue dragons are the dragon bones and the blue dragon hide, which will make the majority of your money here. Weapon and armor drops as well, with only a few worth picking up. Runes, herbs, and coins, and then miscellaneous items, the gem drop table, and then sold dragon heads and hard clue scrolls. Also, just a side note, I found this picture of a blue dragon from 2006, and I thought you all needed to see what it looked like. Anyways, by using the cannon at the Myths Guild with the Blue Dragons, you can expect around 400k GP an hour. The next spot is a somewhat underrated spot in game to train and make money, especially as a lower level, and that is the Cave Horrors. In order to kill Cave Horrors, you do need to complete the Cabin Fever quest, have 58 Slayer, use a Witchwood icon unless you are using Protect from Melee, and a light source, unless a fire of eternal light is lit. The gear I'm using is range gear to kill as many as I can per hour, but you could also use melee. It just takes a little bit more running. I'm using a Guthix Coif, the Ava's Assembler, a Witchwood Icon, Broad Bolts, Rune Crossbow, Black Dehyde Top and Legs, a Zami God Book for some range bonuses, but you could use a Better Book or Shield, Barrow's Gloves, Snakeskin Boots, and the Archer's Ring Imbued. In the inventory I have Cannonballs, a Cannon, two Divine Ranging Potions, you could bring more if you want to camp for a while, some lobsters to heal, again you can bring more if you plan to camp for a while, a lit bullseye lantern for my light source, a 2 dose stamina potion to help get there, some mostly harmless teleport scrolls to get there, and teleport to my house runes to bank and regear when needed. Now I'll show you how to get there, first use your mostly harmless teleport scroll, and then you are on the island, go ahead and run north through the entryway of the town, and then head immediately east. You will get attacked by some NPCs, but don't worry, you shouldn't take too much damage. Continue to run east and slightly south towards the dungeon entrance, once there go ahead and enter the dungeon, run north to find a spot with as many cave horrors as you can, and set up your cannon in the middle area. Then just range the cave horrors one by one in cannon distance and pick up the loot. The cave horrors drop runes, herbs, and seeds, some of them worth over 50k. They also drop miscellaneous items like coins, the gem drop table, and sold horror heads, hard clue scrolls, and long and curved bones. And they also drop weapon and armor drops with the main drop that determines how much money you make here being the black mask which is worth over 550k GP, sometimes more. In an old video of mine, I got three black masks and three hours, so you can make some pretty decent money here without a cannon as well. If you use a cannon at Cave Horrors, you can expect around 100k plus GP an hour. The final profitable cannon spot on this video was super popular when I first started trying to make money in game from combat a long time ago, and it is the Blue Dragons in the Taverly Dungeon. The only requirement for this is getting the Dusty Key, which is super easy to do. You can easily look it up if you do not know how to get it. Additionally, if you have 65 agility and use a Summer Pie, you can instead use the agility shortcut and not need the key. That makes this method better, or you could just have 70 agility and not need the pie at all. I would suggest using range gear for this spot to save spot and kill more at once, so let's go through the gear. The gear I'm using is the Guthix Coif, Black Dehyde Body and Chaps, the Ava's Assembler, the Necklace of Anguish, Broad Bolts, 
rune crossbow, a Zami book, but you could use an anti-dragon shield if wanted, but we will be safe spotting, so use whatever rain shield you want. I am using Barrow's Gloves, Snakeskin Boots, and the Archer's Ring imbued. In the inventory, I have cannonballs, a cannon, a couple lobsters if I take any damage, a divine ranging potion, and teleport to house runes to bank and get there. Now I'll show you how to get there. I teleport to my house in Taverly and then leave, so I would suggest moving your house to Taverly to make it a little bit quicker to get there. Once you exit your house, run south through Taverly and then you'll get to the dungeon. Climb down the ladder and if you have the agility shortcut, just simply go through the tunnel. Otherwise, you do have to run all the way around. Once you get inside, go ahead and set up your cannon where it can hit all three of the bigger blue dragons. Now, this is kind of a mean move and other players will hop because of this. So I do apologize in advance if there's an uptick in cannons at blue dragons. But once you are set up, just use the safe spot by the egg to be able to safe spot all three dragons and be able to attack two of them at once. And then all you have to do is pick up the loot. It is the same loot as earlier, which is the blue dragon hide and dragon bones, where most of your money will come from. Weapon and armor drops with only a few worth picking up. Runes and herbs and then coins and miscellaneous items, the gem drop table, and the ensouled dragon head and hard clue scrolls. If you do this method, you will make 400k plus GP an hour. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and also consider subscribing to see more of my videos. Remember, there is another 5 profitable cannon spots video on my channel and it is in the description of this video if you are at all interested in those. Overall, using your cannon really allows you to get awesome range XP and faster kills, so I do suggest checking some of these spots out in game. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned for my next video.